presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Awesome. Kind of quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. To TGIF, folks, let's make it a great one. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 277, NASDAQ's off 264, S&P's are down 50, gold contract up $7.20 trading at 1738 an ounce. We have silver down 26 cents, $18.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude, where are you? Down a buck fifty-two, trading out at ninety-four eighty-one. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note uh, bottom line. These are on the move top side, folks. You get the ten-year right now, trading up a full point at one nineteen twenty-nine. The thirty-year up a full point plus twenty-five ticks at one forty-two oh four. And the ten-year right now, folks, is yielding. 2.77. We had a high of 3.4. It's 2.77. King dollar, this is going to be the one coming into the close, man. And, and, you know, it's already gained back quite a bit. And that's why you see this market going south. Uh, King dollar is down 198 ticks. It was down 550 this morning. Bottom line, it keeps clawing it back. Uh, we're at 106.712. The euro is at 101. The yen is trading at uh, 136.16, and the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. We're going to go over to the futures because the bottom line is that we're either going to go to hell in a handbag coming into this close, meaning the right to the bottom of this 39 30. We hit 39.41 thus far. Uh, all bottom line, you're going to run up to this uh, 39.67. My, my take is we're that's what we're going higher. And the reason I'm saying it is that so the S&P didn't get to test that low of yesterday. That being said, it's the NQs that run this market. And if we take a look at the NQs, the NQs got down to that level, rejected that level, and had lighter volume. So let's pull this up. It's going to be really tricky coming in here, man. So here's the number. Here is, here's, there's, the, there's the bar. The bar there was 12,373. I'll look right at it again. Uh, bottom line, that bar there had uh, 21,000 contracts. Uh, we made a low out here today with 12,000 contracts. It just popped. It was the first pop we got all day, but you only had uh, 9,500 contracts in it, you know. So we'll see where this, sh this baby's going to shake out. It's, uh, it's going to be a wild close, man. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract and the equities had some good action out here this morning. A lot of these equities gave a lot, of, lot back on price, as did the contract. The contract got to 1755 Right now you're at 1738 didn't hold price. It's a big deal. It couldn't hold price. No doubt about that. Let's go over to the note and bond market because we very well may have an ABC structure on the way up inside the note and bond market. And if we do, it's going to be amazing, man. Um, you know, because the, the aspect is that, you know, you have your next Fed meeting. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, let me just get the exact date. I think it's the 27th. 
calendar. Yeah, 27th. Uh, but you can see this 10 year, man. This 10 year is going after a B point. And the B point had volume of 1.6 million contracts. And guess what? So you're going into the B point with 1.6 million. That's telling me it's going to break. And that's going And this is a monster ABC up, too, by the way, okay? Your B point here is that 120 and a half. Your A point is uh, 114 and a quarter. So uh, what did I say? 120? Yeah, so it's, it's six bucks, six and a half dollars. Well, it's going to get you to 124. 124 is going to bring us all the way back. Check the, it's going to bring us all the way back to May, March 15th. And if that's what you get, you're, you're going to be talking about interest rates going down versus going up. And we'll see uh, just how forward looking this market is because that's a twist, man. That's a twist. And if that's, that's the case, now let's go look at this dollar because the dollar is, you know, bottom line breaking havoc on the marketplace. There's no doubt about that. It's pretty amazing that you only can get 400 point move, uh, tick move. So look at this, right? The bottom line is that you can see this morning at uh, 10 o'clock, markets down, the, the dollar's at 106, 111. Well, guess what? You're at 106, 720. And the number, which is crucial, is right here. 106, 792. And guess what? You know, we're right next to it now. And so we'll see how this shakes out in the uh, next few hours. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you got Snap is getting smoked. That's down $6. You got Advanced Micro off $3.50. You got uh, Marbell down $0.63. Cents. Apple's down a buck fifty-four. You got Amazon down two sixty-two. That's going to be coming out with numbers. Facebook's getting slammed. Facebook came out with a statement last night after the close. Uh, that traded down $10 immediately, and what the statement was all about was that they're going to be copying TikTok ASAP, and that's what's going to be on the homepage. So it's down 14 bucks right now because, of course, if you're changing a uh, business plan that dramatically, which they are, you know, bottom line, there you go. Pinterest also down uh, 280 we go into the uh, NDX 100. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, and we have... Uh, Exelon is up 1%. You got Mondelez up uh, 8 tenths of 1%. Taken away from it. What do we have here? Lucent's down uh, almost 8%. Facebook's off 7.5%. Datadog's off 75 And Align Technology is off 7 So there's big numbers, man, on the way down. There's no two ways about that. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Oh, here comes the pop, man. <laughs> you got to love these markets, man. We had a question. I had said that this was a, uh, you know, white lightning. What white lightning is don't, don't white lightning, folks, is inside the option market. Um, the bottom line is that when you have option expiration, when you get a downdraft like this, it's pretty cool because you can get into whether it's the Qs or the spies, and you know they expire it at four o'clock, um, and you know you you basically can hit them for not a huge amount of bread, and you know. Bottom line, you're basically trading them, and because they expire so quickly, they're not a lot of money, and you know you get movement, and as long as you're buying them in the money, the movement's pretty quick. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of Healy, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 193. NASDAQ is off 239. S&P's off 44. So how you been, man? Pretty good, pretty good. How about you? Good? I heard you're buying a stock today. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're going we're gonna to buy a stock. Folks, what, what happened, <laughs> you're going to love it. What happened last week is that uh, is someone, did someone email you or they text Somebody, you? Somebody uh, yeah. wrote on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. Oh, my God, that's or, hilarious. Uh, YouTube, YouTube. I'll, okay, YouTube. So, Best is going to buy a stock. We're, we're going to get into that, but let's get to, to Philip and St. Pete first. <laughs> Philip, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm very good. Cool, man. Cool. <laughs> so, B-N-N-L-D, huh? Yeah, I wanted to see if you had any news on them. I've owned them for quite a while, okay. and the ticker just changed the other day, and then it and then it popped like today. Okay, so let's take a look. So, this, I mean, I wonder—is it still a uranium operation? As far as I know, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it has here that you know is exploration and development company in Australia and Nibia. Um, I don't see anything here. Um, but there's no doubt you get a nice pop from a dollar to a dollar forty four out here. Let me just see this. Okay, so they were even less they were less than that for the longest time. No, I know. No, I, I, I can see that. I can see that the you know the Yeah, there's nothing out here, Philip. I'm not I don't know, man. But the good the good news is that uh you know, you, you get an equity that uh was at a low and now it's at a buck forty four. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, why? Why did you know why uh, companies just change their tickers like that? Because I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, man. But when you when you when you look at this, okay, so uh, check this out. I mean, you know, this company doesn't have any money. So, you know, I mean, they the most that they've ever done. They did sixty eight thousand dollars last year, and that's it. Yeah, you know. So, and their issue information. If you look at the issue. This is pretty wild, man. I, I mean, 2017, they issued 133 share, million shares at three cents. Then 2018, they issued 173 million at five cents. Then 2021, they issued 114 million at 10 cents. And then in April of this year, they issued 185 million at 22 cents. Yeah, so you get a crapshoot here, man. Huh? You have a crapshoot. 
Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll close it out today. <laughs> hey, this is, yeah, the, cl the sooner you can close it out, man, I think the better off you're going to be. I mean, six, okay. 68000 yeah. for a year is pretty intense, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. How's everything else going, man? Good, good. You still biking? You going out this weekend? You still biking? Yeah. It's so freaking yeah. hot. So hot, man. I'm, yeah. But. I know, I know. I found a nice park in Tampa last week. Oh, did you? Yeah. Which was nice. Cool. But if you don't go out early, you'll just have a stroke. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. You need those salt pills, man. No doubt. Well, listen, man. It's always a pleasure, man. Thanks, Tommy. Have I a great one, man. Have a safe one. All right. Bye-bye. So, this company, yeah. you know, they have no revenue. Right. And people are still buying it? Yes. What are, what are they claiming? Why, why, why should people buy it? The amazing part about the stock market is that you can get listed pretty easy okay okay and that company that we that we just brought up is uh on the over-the-counter nasdaq okay so the way it works as long as you you know basically send in the paperwork that you want they'll list it and then the the key is is to market it and you know you're, you're telling a story and you know you know you're supposed to be able to be making money. <laughs> I mean, that's the reality. Uh, in their case, they're they're saying they're um, an exploration company. And when you are when you are an exploration company, you, you're never making money. I mean, I've had I own I own Vista Gold right now. There's zeros right across the deal. You know, I know they have an asset though. Okay. okay the asset is a very large um, gold mine. But what does happen is that Vista needs a partner. No, to develop that gold mine. I see. And so, you know, bottom line, until you have that, you have nothing really, you okay. know. But there's plenty of equities that, you know, <laughs> have nothing. And, you know, uh, and then there's plenty that are basically are pump and dumps, too. There's no, there's no doubt about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's just amazing to see, you know, just no revenue and there's people are still buying it. Too. Let me tell you, when I, when I see those up, then I look at TFN and I'm saying to myself, man, are you kidding me, man? You know? It's like, yeah, you get the gist, right? It's like, yeah, are you kidding me, man? How, so, I, 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 at the beginning, like 20 years ago, I couldn't even understand how it could happen. Just like yeah. you, like, are you kidding? Right? But that's how it works, you know? And there's plenty of folks that specialize in it, actually. So there, mo there must be some su success stories, right? Yeah. 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 So there's not a lot, the, the, There's not the, a lot. Not, not in that context. Okay. But there are. And that's why... That whole penny stock deal, that's why people do do it. I mean, there's, there's one out of a 99. Reminds so, me of that uh, Wolf of Wall Street movie. It's, it's, it, that's a beautiful, you know, yeah, example. Yeah. Huge example. It's, Huge. It's, so it looks like everything's red, huh? Everything's red, man. Everything's red. But that's all right. It's, it's, we got, what do we have left? We have uh, third, uh, for what, four, we have, we have 36 minutes left. I think it's going to stay red, but as I, when I was just coming on, see this, where the, the top one, this is 3161. Yeah. I suspect that's going to get to 3167, and we'll kind of see what happens at that point. And why so, do you think it's going to go to 67? Because what happens is that, you know, I'm all about price and volume, man. So, the, <laughs> so check it out. Here we go. You're looking at this, and you're going to see, you get the pop, right? <laughs> See this right here? That's the last place that we went down with volume where I got that. Yeah. That's, you know, that's 59,000 contracts. That's the last time we came down with volume. So what ends up happening is that markets like to go back. That's where the buying and selling is basically even. Okay. You know? Now, if we get, this is what's happening right now. This last 10 minute bar, folks, we got volume and we got 30,000 contracts, which is not bad. We're going to be going into that 59, though. So. It's going to build a little cause there in order to blow away, blow through that. But hey, we'll see where it goes, man. Pretty cool. So, real estate wise, right? Listen to this, folks. Okay, we're going to talk about this a bit because this is really a trip. Um, I want to talk about the, you know, the, you went to that uh, the VA yeah. and the FHA. Yes. Right. So, so wait to hear this for all you guys, veterans and, and women out there that are veterans. This is really a trip, man. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't know this either. Yeah, so, I, I knew part of it, but I didn't know the other part of it, right? Yeah, this is crazy. So VA and FHA. Yeah. There's a no minimum credit score limit, right? So yeah. according to the federal government, so these companies when they're selling this, they they put their own limits in there. Right. 
and because they're going to go out there and sell it, so they just want better products. But there are companies out there that will, you know, loan you money on a VA with, like, no no credit limits. Right. I, that's going to be shocking, folks. We're going to talk about this when we come back, just so you can understand, you know, what Bestford just said. What, what he said specifically is the rules say there's no credit limit. And there's plenty of companies that say, no, no, you need this, this amount of credit. But guess what? We know, because he just went to a seminar, we know that there are uh, brokers pushing paper that are saying, okay, we don't need a credit limit. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. That's insane. Yeah. Totally that insane. Changes everything. Stay right there. Best for I come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <coughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of Tom, we do appreciate your growling and problem with us. Now, we are going to have a baptism, folks. folks. <laughs> it is a baptism by fire, okay? All right, so, let's, let's show them what's going on. Be what Bestford did, folks, he put $200 into a Think or Swim account. Go ahead, pull it over. Yeah, I'll help you pull it yeah, over. So, we're pulling it over. <laughs> You're going to love this, man. Okay. And he wants to buy one share. We're going to get this baptism done right uh, of Apple. So, 154.31 we're trading right now. So, let's see, 150. Okay. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put 154.40 because it will give you the best bid anyway. It doesn't matter. So, can, okay. you, can you see where it says buy there down below? Review what, order? Right down there, yeah. Re hit review. Okay. Now, uh, place, order. place order. There we go. There we go. Okay. Order status. What does it say up there? I can't look, see that file. Limit order to buy one apple. Okay. Well, we'll tell, you, we'll tell you when it's done, folks. But he's on his way, man. Right. And it's good. Now, see what happens. Apple's going down, but we'll see what that get executed at. So, you're in. You're, you're in. You're hooked. You're, you're a history, man. This is it, huh? <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm telling you, man. 
What a trip. Yeah. Or some buying stock. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're probably this? the only guy I know that buy Deutsche coin and made some money on it, <laughs> right? So you should see this office, yeah. folks, okay? Uh, the bottom uh, the bottom line is that he's into Deutsche coin. I'm saying you got to sell it, man, because he, he doubled his money, but he did. He sold half of it, right? So yeah, he, he well. sold it, got most of um, yeah. Well, I got all my money back plus right. some, and right. I saw a few left. Yeah, but, right. You know, that was just he a one-time thing. That's, yeah. right. That's right. So here, let's get back to the VA deal. So w what's going on, folks, is, so this, there's a couple of different things happening. The v, if you're a veteran, what happens is that the, um, there's no limit if you're a veteran in the amount of loan value now, which yeah, is unbelievable. Even the DTI, yeah. So right. That, and what, explain what the DTI is again. Debt to income ratio. Right. Yeah, so mo most of the time you'll have it around 45 to 50% yep. of all your debt to income ratio. Right. Well, with uh, VA, they allow it to go as high as you can. Okay, and so what's happening too is, it, you know, if, you, if you're a seller and you have a house and you get a VA offer, right. you should really look into going to that because what happens is even if the appraisal comes down low, right, the government does whatever they can to help the veterans, you know, get that get yeah. that house. Right. So they'll do whatever they can to get that appraisal up a little higher so it'll appraise and you know you're good to go. Right. So right. pretty amazing. It's wild it's wild. Now let's talk about the aspect of the so listen to this one. So I knew that one folks, okay, because they changed that about a year ago, right? But this one here is a mind twister and what it is is that the actual rule, so when you're dealing with, you know, brokers or banks or whatever, they have to have their own rules. And what best we found it going to this seminar, right? Yeah. And this is a mortgage broker, right? Mortgage broker, like, yeah. The guy we know get a new job somewhere else, okay? Yeah. That you don't need... You don't need any credit. That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, the amount of stuff it's real. there is yeah. just pretty crazy. Yeah. Right. And, and even for FHA. Right. So uh, there's no credit limit, but most of them are going to have their own uh, right. limit that they want. So what I'm thinking, and I don't know this, folks, okay? Um, you know, but what I'm thinking is that, so when 2008 came about, the, like, I know the major banks, if... If they sell paper, they have to stand behind the paper. That's the bottom line. But there must be something else that, you know, even in, if a firm has to stand behind the paper, they might just say, hey, if they get too much paper that goes, I'll BK the firm. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah that, that's well, another way it can be done. Yeah, I guess it's who buys the paper, too, right, after these guys uh, get the loans. Yeah, so. I don't know who would buy paper that, you know, you get a 500 uh, credit score or 450. I mean, yeah. Right? I don't know. Yeah. But I guess there's yeah. people, so it's, it's kind of crazy. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is the USDA? Is, so, that, is that the farm loans? Yeah, the, the agriculture. Okay. So, so, yeah, if you're in a rural area, yeah, there's a program out there with, uh, you know, no money down. Yeah. No, no credit uh, score limit either. Right. And they'll help you get a uh, property to live in. And what has happened, folks, if you are in those areas, right, that has always been um, not hidden, but not as advertised as you know the rest of these loans for sure. And, yeah. and they've always been pretty good loans. That's that's the reality. Yeah. You know? no, I, same thing. I didn't really know about the USDA loans until about a right. few years ago. Right. So right. I, I guess because we, we don't really work those. No, no, no exactly. But, right. Uh, right. Out there for sure. So. Right. And what does happen if you're in Florida? Now this is where this gets really interesting in Florida. What happens in Florida is that you get the tax savings on a farm is astronomical, man. I yeah. mean, it's a big number. Now, what you have to do is you actually, it's a ranch, actually. You just turn around and put a cow on it, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's a cow. I think you need two cows or something. It, yeah, a couple it's, animals. It's, it's something that's really small that the, so what the playbook here is, is that the, um, you'd buy it. The and you're putting the two cows on it, and you're getting in the way of development. So if you have the Lenars of the world and the Toll Brothers are coming towards you, and you think they're going to be there four or five years from now, which happens in Florida, yeah. okay. Uh, the bot the bottom line is that you know 
What ends up happening is that you're just doing that in order to sell it to larger, larger builders. That's kind of how that shakes yeah, out. Yeah, that's what's happening here at East of Tampa, right? It's yes. Oh, there's no tens doubt. Tens of man. thousands of new homes just right. Right, right. Well, right where Tommy's living. I mean, he was explaining on the show is that I mean, you're, you're talking about thousands of houses that are built right, being built right across the street. Yeah, you got. And and what does city. happen? This is what does happen. The way these deals normally get put, put together is that you sell a big portion of land, and then you have DHI, you have Lana, you have Beza. They all they all take a piece of it. That that's how that works, okay? Because what happens is the you got to build the infrastructure first, and they're all kind of in a little bit different um, market, meaning. Who's selling it? The three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. Who's selling it? The five and Toll Brothers would be the biggest. They're selling it seven or eight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, and, you know that that's yeah. Yeah. Plus having more people build around there. It's, uh, it's very quickly. Easier, that's yeah, right. That's right. And, uh, because they got to so. build out the stores. They got to build out everything else uh, simultaneously. Okay. And yes, they got to build out the roads. And down, there's a question with Duffy as a building out the roads to handle increased traffic. In Florida, folks, I've been in Florida now 25 years, and it just doesn't stop, yeah. meaning the building of roads. We, the roads are huge. They build even bigger ones. And on a continual basis, uh, that's yeah. how it works. I, I mean, mean the, now the bridges, they're, they're doubling the bridges right now yeah. from Tampa to St. Pete. Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah, I've been here 20 years too. Construction right. never stops. Yeah, it just that doesn't stop. It's, it's always yeah. going. So that's that's the beauty about Tampa Bay. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. We have and some pretty good roads. Well, we do. Yeah, we definitely got some good roads. Now, what does happen is that uh, <laughs> it, it is turning into. Uh, they're both turning into major cities, which turn into a mess if you're going to work. You know, at nine to ten, or eight or nine, seven or eight in the morning, or coming back at five. You don't want to be doing that. No, you know, yeah, you, that's, you just that's, don't want to be. That's why we stay late every day. Yeah, right? exactly, <laughs> exactly. We're, we're in that traffic. There's, there's no <laughs> doubt. There's no <laughs> doubt. Stay right there, folks. Best and I are coming right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now down to 189. You get the Nasdaq off 240. S&P's off 44. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 183. You get the NASDAQ off 240. S&Ps are off uh, 44. And uh, where are we going to go next? Where do you want to go? Well, we got the foreign national as well. Okay. So if you're a foreign national, you don't have... Uh, you know, a green card or or a passport here, citizenship. You yes. can still buy a home as long as you have the individual taxpayer uh, number from the IRS. Okay, right. So you can still get a loan, you know, as long as you pay your taxes. Uh, yeah. Right. They give you a loan. Right. It's pretty cool to know. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's, that, that's, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Now, what's the investment there? You can buy investment property. Uh, so this one... Um, so what happens is a lot of people with 1099s, they write everything off. Yes. And uh, you look at your tax returns, they didn't make any money. Right. But they have these programs where they look at your bank statements for right. the past uh, year or two years. Okay. And based off of that, they'll give you a loan up to 90% right. loan to value uh, ratio. Now, what was, what was OCK saying, bank? Uh, there were, uh, I believe, up to they were, 75. They were 25%. Yeah, 25% right, right. down. So. so, pitch this, folks. We do business with OZK Bank. And now, this, that's, it's a development bank. It's a commercial bank. Um, and it is pretty cool, man, how, yeah. how this works, right? Yeah. Because they, they and, and what happens is that no matter where you are in the country, <laughs> if you're looking for something like that, you got to find a bank that holds their own paper. Yeah. Because that's what ends up happening. A bank that holds their own paper... If you're looking for a longer-term relationship, um, I would suggest that's where to go because what happens is that they get to know you, and now in this case here, what we're talking about is that it doesn't matter whether they know you or not. They will lend you, you know, seventy-five percent on an investment property. You're putting twenty-five percent down, yeah. kind of no matter what the numbers are, right? Oh, yeah. We're not with no matter what. I'm just yeah. saying that the numbers have to work. Yeah, yeah, okay? the numbers will have to work. Yeah, right. but you can still get it done. So if you have a good deal. You can you can make it happen. Right, right. Yeah, and and uh, this is big too on uh, non-conforming condos. Oh, so you, listen you, to this. You get a lot of those where you do get a lot of these traditional. You know, lenders will not lend you on right. these properties just because right. you know they're not functioning well. But these guys will, as long as you can get the rent to cover the payment that we. Yeah. No. Hey, check this out, man. If you happen to be in Florida, this is a monster deal. And you own a condominium. Are you thinking of buying a condominium? What you want to do ASAP is find out what your reserve clause is and how much money is in your reserve clause. Because what I've found, I was on the board and I purposely went on the board because these guys are so screwed up and basically got it straightened out. But what happens is that there's a new law because of um, that con what ha we had in Florida folks over in Miami, right? Yeah. This huge condo came down. And what happens, unfortunately, in all these condos is that you have people that have owned them for a while. Yeah. No one wants to come up and fix them. I have no idea why that happens. That's like insane, okay? Because, yeah. you, you know, folks, like when I was a kid, one of them, I never could understand why you get to actually depreciate property off. 
Property has to be taken care of on a continual basis, man. All the time. And a 20-year depreciation is a real deal. If you don't put money into your property and take care of it, guess what? You're not gonna have a freaking property at the end of it. No. Well, what happens is that there's a new law. Now, this doesn't go into effect, I believe, for another year, right? Yeah. They're letting it catch up. But it's extensive. And what it is, is that all these condos are gonna have to catch up and have a full reserve. And that's not gonna be easy. And I suspect what you're gonna see is that condos are gonna be discounted in a very large way, some of them, because of the fact that they don't have enough money in. Yeah, because the condo fees are gonna go up dramatically. They're gonna go up dramatically. So yeah. if, you, if you go in and buy a place and you think the condo fee is 475, you wanna check the there's bank statement and they're, all, they're given to you. I mean, it's no big deal. Yeah. And then there's a, there's a ratio and they have to, every year you have, they have to know how much shot they are in the ratio and pay attention to it because it's going to be a big deal man yeah you yeah, know no, that's going to be huge where every condo now every condo community has to uh, every condo have the right reserves right and i've seen enough of them that i suspect the the fee will go up like 50 percent it's not you know this is what ends up happening if you have time it's not hard to get it done. Like when I was down in Indian Rocks, okay, beautiful place, but the bottom line, they were upside down. And the first time I remember I says, no, I was saying, we gotta go up $50 and the board's fighting like crazy. It finally went up $50, right? And then the next year is another $50 and they're the same thing. Well, bottom line, it ended up working out. We go up $50 every year for three years and then all of a sudden, you know, you really have money and yeah. people don't get hurt, you know, dramatically at the get-go, okay? And you know, what you do have, you have plenty of folks, you know, in this particular case, there were plenty of folks that owned it for a long period of time, you know, and hitting them with a buck and a half at the beginning yeah. really does not work, okay? Because what you, this is a, there's a finesse doing it to make sure that no one's really gonna get hurt but that their equity is going to go up, and that's what ends up happening. As soon yeah. as you get a, as soon as you get a full fee, I mean a full, you know, Reserve, yeah. bank account, you're in good shape. So what happens? So just picture to break it down. To break it down, if your roof's 20 years, well, the bottom line is that let's say then this condo here, the roof would have been like four or five hundred thousand. Okay, bottom line is that you're going to break that down, divide it by 20. That's got to go in the deal. Pavement on the outside, whatever the payment was. You take that, you break it down, do it by 20. That's how you do it. So yeah. that on a continual basis, all of a sudden, you know, something happens, well, you can fix it and it's, it's you know, you have that money in your back pocket. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then it's just your property's gonna be worth more. And your property's more, yeah, worth so, more. I yeah, mean, in, that's, you know. That's all you're doing is investing right, in your property. Right, right. There's, there's, there's no doubt about it. So it's pretty cool yeah. in, in the basis that it'll save well, safety-wise, it's really important, too. You yeah. can see the bottom line is that that condo folks that went down, unfortunately, and all those people passed away, they were negligent, man. They were flat-out negligent because what they did is that they said, no, no, no. And on, on the, the, the reports, okay, on the reports, they had that the steel structure, the cement, was falling apart. That had been a year and a half before it happened. Okay, and yeah. when you, when you're Florida itself is a tough place with water, but when you're on salt water, yeah, salt water folks can take you apart in two seconds. Okay, it's like water is a real estate owner's worst nightmare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just a tiny little hole, huh? Just a tiny little hole, man. Well, it's it's it just happened to us. Yeah. At the, at the office, yeah. Right. It's pretty destructive what it can do. And, you know, if you have it, get on it like ASAP because, um, you know, the bottom line is that you can, you can run into some big problems out here. Oh, hey, Bestford, he's, he's, he's on, he's, it, he's, he's with us now, folks. He's, he's in <laughs> Hotel California. Here, where, where is it? Where do, where, uh, he, he got executed, and Duffy, he did. That's awesome. There Duffy, one of the Tigers, put in what it was trading at, and you can see what a trade. 154.29. That's wow, what he got it at. There we go. You're off to the races, man. <laughs> Holy cow. I love it. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials uh, trading up, uh, no, trading down 195. NASDAQ's off 248. SP's off 46. Come right back.
the technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 189. NASDAQ's off 243. S&Ps are off 44. Now, check this out, Best, but this is pretty cool. See the Tigers, Den? Uh, Duffy is saying... A one dollar investment in Apple in nineteen ninety is now worth three hundred and thirty five dollars. Wow. So you're a young dude, man. Man. Your your stock, you might be able to retire in that one share. Yeah, you never know. Huh? <laughs> it's just uh, it's pretty crazy. Let's see if, how long Apple's gonna be around. Yeah, that, the, the, the good news, Apple's going to be around forever. I mean, that's yeah. the bottom line. <laughs> Things change, folks. We know that. Things change. But the bottom line is going to be around forever. So. Yeah, well, when I was looking at GE, right? GE was yeah. the biggest company at one point? Yeah. Where, where are they now? GE is a dead dog. Isn't that, isn't that sad? Is GE owned by uh, a Chinese company? Well, now? listen to this. This is, now, this, is where, this is where Bestford's getting that is off of me. Because what happens, folks, is this. He knows that I bring stuff in from China. Now, the sickest part, folks, listen to this. You could bring in, GE's now in China. Well, the appliance is owned by the Chinese. Okay. So I could buy a whole container of GE's, and actually people would think that, oh, this is an American product. Well, it's now no longer an American product. It's pretty crazy. Isn't huh? that weird? Yeah. GE, no, huh? That's, that's weird. Now, look at GE here. Now, the reason this looks like it's so big, watch this. Let me bring this back. Wait, this, this has been... A bad scene, man. Look at this. GE up there, $465, you're at 68 bucks. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. So they blew 2000 it. was the, the peak. That's man. right. That's right. They blew it. They got into every business and they thought they were God. And uh, guess so what? They just expanded too much, huh? 
Yeah. Sort of focusing well, like Apple. They, they actually, they got into, uh, they got into mortgages. They got into everything, man. Do they do uh, phones or no? No, no phones, no. Okay. No. And when you look at it, it's sad because, you know, GE, you know, jet engines, locomotives, I mean, they had it together so dramatically, it's just unbelievable. And then, guess what? It's just too much. Wow. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, man? that was quick. Unreal. Send your questions in for next week, folks. Bottom line, always remember the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off, 9 in the morning. Thanks, brother. Ready for a growl pump? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't, I can't <laughs> <laughs> 